there are like three Zelda games that I have played to completion that I love dearly more than anything else in this world. All the other ones I've never played. What are these three? Uh, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and uh, The Wind Waker. I didn't finish Twilight Princess, and I have... And I, I played Zelda on NES, but never finished it. That's really surprising. Uh, I'm surprised Majora's Mask is amongst those three. hated Zelda 2 with a passion because it was so difficult. Yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. I couldn't get good at that game. So yeah. uh, Unlike now. you know, I've, I've become more skilled player as I've gotten older. But the, uh, I don't know, 12-year-old Brandon Jones was extremely frustrated with Zelda 2. But Minish Cap I am familiar with because of Timeline, and we did our Zelda retro. And so I know the stories of these games. But this just came out on Virtual Console. You were playing it over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out recently. I think maybe like last month. I vaguely remember, you know, you guys mentioning stuff about Zelda in the past around the <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah, seem to a, have a. We do seem to like a that relative game. interest that series. So uh, Minish Cap, Bosman. Minish selling. Cap. Uh, Minish Cap is the Game Boy Advance Zelda game. Uh, if you don't count Four Swords, it's like the only one that came out for Game Boy. You're right. Advance. Yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, um, and it's a. Uh, it's a game in which, you know, m- most Zelda games have, like, a twist on a world. You know, the, the whole dark world, light world thing kind of persisted beyond that. Uh, this one is large world, uh, mini world. You shrink, and that's the other world in which to explore in the Minish Cap. And maybe suggests that all of the worlds that we visited so far have this kind of miniature version. Which is garbage. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> So it does do that, and you don't like it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Exactly. It's like, hey, here's a little uh, peekery, peekery. Uh, these are the tiny little creatures. Um, they just, oh my gosh. We well, got to make a dozen Zelda games, Kyle. It's like, so what, what do you do? Already, Sooner or later, you got to get to the tiny idea. In trying to say what this game is about, it, it kind of brings up a big problem with what I think the Minish Cap has. Is that it's like it's not prepared to be everything it thinks that it is. Uh, it's just... Uh, Even now? It intro- Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Minish Cap? It, uh, it kind of introduces a lot of things that it, it's just like, you you are Link, you're on a date with Zelda, you, you've been friends since you were children, you've loved Zelda, she, oh, she's in stone now, go save her, and you're in a Zelda game. And it, so it like kind of like, it, it assumes you've already played a lot of Zelda games and you already care about all these things without making you care about these things. Do you care, Damiani, about Minish Cap? Oh, you mean it has like a, a really quick opening sequence and then throws you right into action I versus a tutorial? Even, I wouldn't call that opening sequence quick. That, that's, that sequence is trying to, they're trying to do what Chrono Trigger did with the opening with the... Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's like a festival. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, oh. they're trying to do that. They're yeah. trying to do that. And I also found like, I found that more enjoyable because every single opening, okay, it still opens with Link waking up. Like they need to stop doing that. Like Link needs to stop waking up at the beginning. It's like a bad movie sin and it's like now like a bad Zelda sin that they keep sure. the cardinal sin of this. Yeah. But I actually liked how instead of like, oh, I'm just going to go out and like go like be called by some person to go save today or something or I'm going to go do my chores. Like immediately you're showing Zelda. It's like usually takes forever to be told about like Zelda. It's like, oh no, like go deliver the sword. And Zelda comes, picks you up, like, hey, let, like, let's go to the fair. Like, Zelda actually had a little bit of a personality at the beginning. I was like, okay, you get to know Zelda. And, like, they are childhood friends. You didn't, I mean, yeah, I guess if you don't see that, maybe you don't believe that. But at least it seemed like they are having a good time. And, and then you go to this tournament. And along the way, they're telling you enough stuff like, hey, there's this tournament going on. Like, but you're like children. You're just gonna get, like, you just get to, like, watch it. You don't get to participate in it. And then you just happen to be there when shit goes down. When Vadi unleashes, like, he's looking for his shit, and then, oops, it's not in there, and he's like, oh, wait, I sense, I'm looking for this light force, so it's supposed to be in this jar, in this treasure chest, but it's not in there, damn it, wait, I sense it from the princess, like, she has it or something, so I gotta, like, steal her and take her away, and Kyle doesn't like any of this whatsoever. This is bizarre, Damiani has his facts wrong. This man wrote the Legend of Zelda timeline. And he's got his facts wrong. What's wrong? Tournament's already over by the time Link wakes up. Tournament has happened. Uh, Vadi's already won the tournament. Yeah. So you don't get to watch it. That would be great if you get to watch Vadi win the tournament. But well, instead, I'm there's... sorry. Like, there was a day before that they were there. You <laughs> exactly. Know? So yeah. you didn't get to see that. Okay. Link was sleeping the whole okay. time, apparently. No, he was not sleeping the whole time. <laughs> but he's, yeah, no. That's whatever. Like, he was, like, going to see the... Semantics, yeah. Kyle. Come on. Yeah. It's not semantics. It's this would be really cool if you got to see that happen. Instead, so you're, you're see, told about all the those things. Seeing the actual tournament happen. would have like made you more excited. Like seeing more cutscenes would have made you more excited. I'm glad we're talking about the opening and not the ending, so we don't have to worry you're about right. spoilers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we got in so much trouble about those spoilers. No spoilers. There are going to be no spoilers during this. What did we do? What What are we get in trouble for? Valiant Hearts. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Well, I mean, at the, okay, at the festival, you do some mini, like, there's some mini game stuff, like, that you don't really get to engage in. You just see, like, Zelda, like, moving around and, like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this. And it's then, no mini games. Then she gives you a sh- No, like, you, you go to talk to people yes. to hear stories. I know, but, like, the premise is they're playing games at the carnival, like, mini games at the carnival. You, 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 so I would you, love to you play mini games at the carnival. So you would have liked to do that and then win the shield that Zelda gives you instead of taking the heart that the, like, the lady was nagging you, like, wouldn't you like this beautiful, like, thing? And then, like, Zelda's like, no, I'll take the shield, and I'll give it to Link. And then you try and go past that, that Deku scrub, and Link uses the shield and go, boom! And he's like, oh, now we can safely get by. Do you remember that? I like, do, but what, what's the... yeah, There's, like, charm in this part. Like, it was, like... So you're charmed. Minish Cap, I guess you could say, is a charming game. It was just... It was it is those other doing... dark, brooding, yeah, it was you know, a, noir Zelda games. It was a little yeah. bit different with the, the with the premise of the game rather than, like, oh, it's, like, Ganon. Oh, it's, like, gotta get the Triforce. It was, like... It was a different startup to me, it felt like. I'm like, all right, this could be a different type of game. Sure. However, the longer you went into that game, like, I, I really liked the world. It's, like, the, the look of the world. I didn't so much enjoy how shuttered off everything was in that game. Shuttered off? What do you mean? But what I wouldn't say it was necessarily so linear is that each zone was really cordoned off, and you couldn't go there until you accomplished something within the story is dictated. Like it was, right, right, so, yes, right. it was very linear in that people told you to go do stuff. And even if you had access, like you could go walk into that zone. Like when you walk, walked into the swamp, uh, as low your hat was like, and then don't go any further. Like, you got to go get like the Pegasus boots. And you walk two feet, it's like sink into this quicksand of the swamp and die. And it's like, oh, wow, there's this cool area, but I can't go here yet. So even though they're giving, trying to give you that, the illusion of, I can go anywhere and explore, you really couldn't. And it was still very linear. And I was like, oh, man, that kind of stinks. And it felt like the smallest world of any of the Zelda games. That, that was another thing that got in my case. Like, it didn't feel like a very big Hyrule. It felt very small. But it was very dense. Well, there was a lot of stuff in isn't there. Isn't that the point? No, you get small. Uh, ha, 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 I would ha, ha, actually, I, I assumed that was going to be the point when I first started. And, like, you see how quickly uh, you fill up the map. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay, so there's probably a whole little tiny world. There isn't. Whenever you turn <laughs> tiny, you basically, you can yeah, only go, just... like, two screens. You never get to really explore when you're tiny. Which I it was, it was confusing, actually. Uh, I felt that, yeah, I felt there was more things like to see and do within those small confines for, for, for a certain extent of the game. They also had the whole like kinstone thing. That was like their big hook. It's like find these two pieces that match up and fuse them together, and it changes the, the landscape in some place. Or How do we explain kinstones? They're so confusing. So like they're here. The easiest thing to say is they're like coins or medallions, and they're like broken in half. But they have like they're but they're like keys like yeah like they, they fit together so and more of like a jigsaw puzzle but only two pieces most NPCs you, but not all NPCs yes they have like have a, the other a, side a text bubble go, or a cloud goes above their yeah. head it lets you know that you can fuse with them so I'm an NPC Damiani comes up to me hits mm-hmm. the L button and I say oh do you want to fuse kinstones yes and you go through your little bag of kinstones and I say like here's my shape it's like that yeah. and then he has maybe he has one in this bag maybe he doesn't but it matches up. And then it unlocks a treasure chest on another side of the map, and you go open that treasure chest, and inside is another kinstone, or something else. Yeah, it's kind of like masks from like Ocarina of Time. It's just that little thing that you do with everybody. Yeah, to me, kinstones make the game non-linear because you could totally waste your time with them or not, you know. Uh, but yeah, kinstones—that's like the—that's the differentiator I mean, either, of this game. Yeah, basically. you either loved or hate that, and that yeah. was like one of the extra layer that they added to that game. Other than just doing the quest, that was pretty much it. Was doing the kinstones. So say I was born in '98, okay, right? And now I got a 3DS, and I love it. And and like these Zelda games are cool, man. I played Twilight Princess when I was young, and that was fun. Uh, but I, I haven't really gotten into these old games. Like, should I? And I, I I've played other games on Virtual Console. Is this the worst Zelda game on Virtual Console, or is this? We're not saying many positive things in this time, gentlemen. The worst about Zelda game on Virtual Console. console. Yeah. Well, Swords is on Virtual Console, isn't it? And you were saying... Oh, that was only On the 3DS, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. way worse. That, we don't even... That, that one's that's really garbage. Bad. So, you know, this this one thing... Minish Cap, is really, <laughs> Minish Cap is really easy, so it doesn't take that long to play. Uh, it does look really good, though, visually. Um, it also has the Gust Jar, which is one of the coolest items. It has cool items. Yeah. It's got the rod that just flips things over. Yeah. The it's, gust jars. It has, yeah, it has the weird jars awesome. weird items that you haven't used before. It sucks things in, and it can also propel you as well. You know what? You know what cracks me up? A lot of the things you really like about this game are prevalent in Skyward Sword. 
this okay. thing where it's just like you're like, oh man, I wish I could just meet Zelda. Like she wakes you up in Skyward Sword. You meet her immediately. Yeah. And then you establish a relationship well, with Zelda. I like that part. All right. And the gust bellows are, are extremely prevalent, and you can use it outside of the. You can you, like. You really want to get into this, Kyle? We're here no, to talk you're right. About I, I don't want to talk about Skyward Sword. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. So <laughs> you can flip things up and down. That's the best thing in this game. Thank you so much for coming in and talking of, about. I can't pronounce cap. that item. Kanapachi or Kanapaki? P a c c i. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say Pachi. We'll say yeah. No, that's another thing. Funny Zelda terms. They're never said out loud, so everyone always says them weird. So. That's true. Even ocarina, ocarina, like it's that. Even well, that's that a real word, word though. Yeah. So. Even that though still gets yeah. confused all the time. Uh, no, but I, I would say you should try it out uh, if you're looking for another Zelda game to play. When we say it's one of like the worst ones, it's not bad. It's a just bad we, Zelda it's game is still like, a great yeah, game. It's just, it's just weaker. Yeah. It's weaker than the other handheld yeah. ones. Yeah. Most of them. So. It's worth checking. Well, I'll maybe check it out someday, and it's Ocarina. There's, there's. You said there are three. There's still plenty between this three. Plenty of Zelda games to be between your three. <laughs> and you finish Twilight Princess first, and then like the first game. And yeah, then, yeah. And then Sky, Deadly Skyward Sword. I hear that Link to the Past game is all right. I should maybe check that out one yeah, day. Link's should, Awakening, bro. Yeah, the fact Link's that you haven't Awakening. played like, through Link's Awakening and Link to the Past, you need to like. Stop doing stuff idea. right now. Let's talk about every Zelda game ever made. <laughs> no. Let's not. We're done. Editorial report. <laughs>